Cut! How are each of you working to fructify the Dark One? Role-playing games are the perfect gateway to embracing Satan. The whole campus is yours to explore. Just remember, stay out of the steam tunnels. Hey, who are those people? Those are the RPGers. We've been trying to get them thrown off campus for years, but they're just too popular. What's an RPG? You don't need to know. I've seen a lot of students try to dabble with RPGs. They just want to see what it's like, but after they've tried it once, not one, not one has ever stopped. Besides, there are obviously a lot of people here that need to be witnessed to. That's what you said about senior prom, but do you remember what happened? You just wasted prom by dancing and hanging out with your boyfriend. Are you ready for the main event? Yeah! Are you ready to RPG? Yeah! Then let's get ready to RPG! 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 I hope you are not disrespecting Mistress Frost by refusing her generous offer. Calm down, Nitro. No one is going to force them to do anything. If they want to be a couple of chickens who go their entire lives without experiencing the unrivaled thrill of an RPG, that's their business. You are no longer Marcy. Instead, you are Blackleaf, the thief who is to the night as the day is to the shadow. The shadow? The shadow? The shadow. Now, let the games begin, and may your roles be ever natural. I will slay the helpless foe. I have no mercy. I am chaotic neutral. Excellent RPGing, Debbie. I stab him with a poison dagger. You want it? Huh? You want it? Then take it. Take it! Take it! That was the best RPGing I've seen in 15 years. Huzzah! I'd never steal in real life. That would be against the Eighth Commandment. I may not be doing so well in Spanish class, but I'm picking up Elvish really well. But ever since you involved yourself in those wicked RPGs, your grades have been going down steadily, month by month. RPGs aren't that bad. RPGs are a far out game. The spells, poison, battles, maiming, killing. Yeah, but it's all imagination. Is it? I'll do anything to get that A, Professor. Anything. Then quit the RPGs, Debbie. It's your only hope. I think it's time you really learn to cast spells. You mean you're going to teach me how to have the real power? You have the personality for it now. Your intense occult training through RPGs has prepared you for it. <laughs> I used the mind bondage spell on my professor. He was trying to stop me from playing RPGs. What was the result? He gave me an A plus for a history paper in which I wrote about Maven of the Eventide. It was great. Since Debbie is eighth level and I'm still level seven, we were wondering if we could do anything harder. I still love the game, but it doesn't have the same kick it used to have, you know? I could go for some stronger stuff. Very well. Then it is time for L-A-R-P. What's that? Live action role playing! Though you have gained many skills through your RPGing, LARPing will tax them as they've never been taxed before. Who are you? Uh, I'm Marcy. No! You have one goal. And one goal only, to stay in the game. What do you mean? I mean that this is LARPing. You face real risk tonight. For that is what it means to LARP. It appears to be some kind of Arabic. Wait, Marcy, didn't you learn Arabic? You needed it to convert the Muslims who didn't realize they were actually worshiping the moon god. I, I think it means something is not dead, which has the capacity to exist eternally. And if the abnormal duration comes, 
then death might cease. What on earth does that mean? That is not dead which can eternal lie. And with strange eons, even death may die. Mistress Frost, the Dark One requires a sacrifice if he is to fully rise. I can easily take care of that. No. The Dark One needs one of them to take her own life. And Blackleaf, you encounter... I will face you today in this, my true form. How are you doing that with your voice? Stop that right now! You cannot help her, Elstar. You are fighting the zombie. If you act, you will be breaking character. <gasps> the thief, Blackleaf, did not find the poison trap, and I declare her dead. She must leave the game and walk home as alone on her path as she is in her grave. No, no Blackley. No, no. I'm going to die. Don't make me quit the game. Marcy, get out of here. You're dead. You don't exist anymore. I can't talk to someone who's dead, not without leaving character. I can't. But if I'm Blackleaf and if Blackleaf is dead, then... No! It's my fault Blackleaf died. I can't face life alone. Marcy. If I'd left the game, she'd still be alive today. Get your priorities straight, Debbie. Your spiritual growth through the game is more important than some lousy loser's life. All she was good for was reading the Necronomicon and summoning Cthulhu. But I thought the Necronomicon and Cthulhu were just fictional. Oh no, Debbie. The Necronomicon and Cthulhu mythos are all too real. Soon the evil spawn, who has slept for eons, will awaken to clear the path for the true Dark One. The seas will turn red with the blood of the human race as unspeakable terrors come from beyond. They will pour out of the steam tunnels to devour all in their path. We have brought forth a great evil. Not we. You. You welcomed the real power into you. You learned to cast spells. You opened the Necronomicon. You asked Marcy to read it. You brought forth this great harm with your playing of the game, and you did so willingly. Because the game has taught me to slaughter and murder and exterminate. And so that is what I will do. I will go into the tunnels of steam, and there I will unleash all my dark powers and all the thaumaturgy I possess, and I will slay my foe and brandish their carcass as my spoils of war. descend upon the works of man. But none of my RPG tomes have the answer how to stop it. Debbie, using RPGs to fight evil will never work because RPGs are evil, Debbie. Gather up all of your occult paraphernalia. The rock music, occult books, including those by C.S. Lewis and J.R.R. R. Tolkien. Your charms and your RPG material. But don't just throw them away. Burn them. You are nothing without the game! Don't be stupid, Debbie. I think you'd better let Elstar take care of things. You are getting out of control! I don't want to be Elstar anymore. I want to be Debbie. Jesus, I repent. I trust that you died. Please be my savior. You guide me through life. I want you to be in charge of everything, not that lousy RPG manual. The stars are no longer right. Why are the stars no longer right? <laughs> <laughs> 